Hello, I have She Doesn't Need You from Foam. I don't think I've had this before, but maybe I did a review and forgot. It's on my phone and I haven't uploaded it yet. I just recently broke a thousand uploaded videos, but I have a whole bunch more on my phone from the last year and a half or so. Maybe longer. But this one is 7% alcohol, canned less than two weeks ago. And um, it uses... Nelson Sovin, Sovin, whatever, Mosaic, and Eldorado, which is interesting because I just did a review of DDH Juicy Bits from Weld Works, and that's Citra Mosaic and Eldorado. Citra and Nelson, obviously very different hops, but the other ones are the same, so we'll see what happens. We'll see if, yeah, I've never had foam next to Weld Works. So I don't think they're very similar um, in, gener in a general profile, but we'll see. So there you go. She doesn't need you. Sometimes I'm really into foam beer. Sometimes I, I don't know, I'm not. <laughs> sometimes their yeast seems to be, uh, I don't know, weird to apple juicy. Sometimes I think it works. This one's super fresh, so I'm betting I'll like it. And that is not, not murky hazy. You can see a little bit through the, the bottom part. And actually you can get, yeah, I almost notice a little bit up here too. Not too much, though. Bubbles are popping very fast. Very good carbonation. Or high carbonation, not necessarily good. And it smells... Hmm, kind of like grapey? It has that apple juice thing. Just That's just, that's just kind of like the foam yeast profile. Um, which what I hate is that sometimes in like older or oxidized hazy IPAs, I get the sort of apple cinnamon, apple sauce, I don't know, kind of thing happening that I don't like at all. Um, I guess this is not that. It's just kind of part of their character. Um, but it makes me think that. I guess it's, it's more like a, yeah, it's like a white grape. Juicy white grape. Maybe it's more pear, actually, in their tasting notes for this beer, they mentioned pear. Maybe it's closer to pear, even though I, for Saison, traditional clean Saisons, I often think their ester profile is like pear, but this is not that. It's not really phenolic. And there's only a light hint of the sort of jalapeno I get from Nelson. Maybe it's a little bit peachy. But the head's, head's died down a good amount. Ooh. Different kind of flavor. Yeah, all the foam beers seem like they're like these fruit cocktails. That they're based on apple juice. Like uh, there are a lot of different... If you buy like a fruit cocktail bottle or jug at, at the grocery store... Um, most of them aren't 100% juice, but they're usually the first juice listed is apple because it's kind of like you can layer a lot of different fruit flavors on apple and have them all kind of come out. And apple juice, I think, is pretty cheap. And that's what is with the way it is with most beers. Like they're layering all of their these different hops characters onto a sort of apple ester uh, prof yeast profile. Sometimes I really like it. This one is like... I don't know, it's weird. At the same time, I'm getting some sort of Hill Farmstead sort of flavors from it. But with the Nelson in there, it's very, very white grape, I would say. Very low in the bitterness. It doesn't have much, um, like, actual raw hop character. I'm not getting much greenness. I guess that's something about foam oh, that other brewers like Trillium have. It's like, when you're drinking this, it's like, is this beer? Does it, I don't really notice how hops or malt maybe with trillium a lot of times you can get over hopped qualities but with this it's like it doesn't it's like a fruit cocktail it's not like this beer not like there's any hop any normal beer flavors and there's no weird added beer added stuff to this just barley hops malt yeast um water there might be there are probably some oats or wheat in there I 
There's something in there yeah, that can, makes me think Cezanne. Interesting. Because there are a lot of hazy IPAs that I think are too big on the candy esters that taste like bubblegummy Belgian ales. Um, but this is hitting the more spicy, pear-like qualities of, of Cezanne's, which I guess are more or less basically Belgian. Um, but a different character than you, what you get from big, sweet, estery, abbey ales and um, what people call Belgian IPAs that don't really quite exist in America anymore. But this isn't like that. Okay, with this one, this is just not quite doing it for me, I would say. I haven't had a phone in quite a while. And this one, it seems like it should be hazier or have something more, especially because it's so fresh. Let's see. I just shook up the bottom. See what happens there. Looks like there's some, some sediment. To... Mm, maybe not. There you go. Does that look any hazier? Oh, no, not really. And maybe I just really like the weld works a lot more. But if you want something that just tastes like you're drinking some sort of pear white grape cocktail, maybe with hints hints of orange and peach in there, this is the way to go. It's it's unique. Foam has their own style for sure. But a lot of their IPAs just like obviously they don't have this brightness I guess to them because of that apple pear quality. Um, my favorite one from them actually was the oldest one I had from them. I got it from the brewery. It was their like pina colada beer with like lime. It was like lactose and pineapple and coconut and lots of lime, I think. And they were still selling it at the brewery when it was like three months old. And it was awesome. It just cut all their like sweet, yeasty, apple -y qualities really well and still tasted good being old. Um, and that one was very good. Hopefully I can get that one again. Can't remember the name. Um, but it's definitely worth a try. Like it's, it's a well-made beer. They're obviously doing nailing what they want. It's like super easy to drink, barely bitter. But I can't really give this much more than a four. 